Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Place of Binding of Isaac Antipas. Welcome back, I should say, unless this is episode one, in which case, welcome, welcome to Papa's house. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Mom's bottle of pills fucked us right off the bat. QKDM, 9KBQ, Sad Onion. Uh, honestly, good starting stats. Mom's bottle of pills giving us bad trip right off the bat is um, just about the worst luck we could have had. Uh, you know, that might not be true. Honestly, a, a, a tears down or a speed down might actually indirectly be worse. But I do uh, really dislike the fact that we're going up against a champion um, nub. This is actually like a 1 in 100 style um, session of bad luck here. Because basically, I don't know how we get through this without getting hit by one of the bullets it creates when it dies. Okay, we've done it. And we got an Are You A Wizard Pill? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, this is a little ridiculous. Oh my god. I lived. I 100% I embraced death in that moment. And I lived. I could have waited for Are You A Wizard to come off and I didn't. I'm not pleased or displeased with that situation. Um, I'm just mostly surprised that after that amazing last run, they, they took the rest of the gloves off so quickly here. It's a little bit uncalled for, quite honestly, but you know what? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Heard this song in a commercial for a woman's shampoo. Okay. That's good. You know, I was feeling like, hey, we'll just meditate on it. You know, knock out another 15 Isaac runs today. No problem. Easy, easy. Not so easy, easy, apparently. Uh, we could use a bomb to get a Tinted Rock, and that's probably a better option for it, but I do have to admit, I hate uh, fighting Ragman, and anything that speeds up the Ragman fight even mildly is uh, is valuable, I think. But this is really the first uh, kind of like uh, toll bridge for us to pass, and it's also a signpost for us, you know, it's a milestone, if you will. By passing this, wow, I got lucky with that dodge. Uh, by passing this, we have a chance to get something that improves our run drastically. Any HP upgrade would be enormous right now. Okay, Synth Oil is also really good. It's not specifically what I wanted, but that's okay. Our damage and rate of fire are up there, though. So, obviously, uh, the item room is pretty important for us. Possibly the shop if we get a, a lot more money, but and, and keys for that matter. But for now, I think this is okay. You know, compared to how we started... We've got a nice damage upgrade, and we're down half a Spirit Heart. That's not that bad. Um, it's not that bad. Obviously, Farting Baby is not really the kind of like Hail Mary I was looking for here, but we don't need a Hail Mary. It's the start of the game. If we go down by 14 points at the start of the game, you know, obviously you'd rather be up by 14 points, but it's not that big of a deal. You can always come back. We can Brett Favre slash Aaron Rodgers this, no problem. Uh, I would like to... Maybe shoot some poops and get to five cents. Arcade at least gives us a chance to gamble, but ah, whatever. Okay, down to the next floor. Caffeinate a little bit and then, you know, let's do it. Burning Basement 2. Uh, Curse Room and Curse of the Lost. Curse Room is very tempting. Even though it would kill us to go, it is still tempting. But I don't think it's tempting enough right now. So we got a bomb. Obviously, A number one, we're going to be looking to use that on a Tinted Rock. This is the dream room. This is what you want to have happen down here. Um, throw a bomb down right there. It did get the Tinted Rock and the Spirit Hearts. So now we got Small Rock. And DPS is getting off the chain real early here. Wouldn't be surprised if we're one-shotting those guys. We're two-shotting them. Still really good, though. Okay, uh, I didn't get hit there because Farting Baby blocked a bullet, I think. So, you know what? Thank you very much for that. There's a key, so item room and shop are both within our grasp here, which means we could get enough to get to three and a half spirit hearts, which means we could take a deal with the devil. Monster Manuel, not very good at all. Item rooms have kind of fucked us so far, but honestly, the other items that we've gotten through, like secondary sources, have been amazing so far. And I mean that sincerely, you know, without a hint of irony. Small Rock is an amazing item. I don't think we can place a bomb here properly, so I'm just going to wait it out. We might find a better opportunity to use our one bomb than to use it to get a little money that maybe can let us get a Tinted Rock later. So we get a Power Pill. And then, I mean, the question mark scared the shit out of me. This one turned out, though. You know what? If you're going to give me that early uh, bad trip, I appreciate the 
almost equally early Balls of Steel. Double Monstro Fight, the hardest version of this fight that you can have, I think. Uh, well, you can have a four Monstro Fight, but not until, like, the Cathedral or something. So, uh, I'm not sweating if it takes us a little extra HP, maybe, to get this one done. Or even if it, uh, even if it hurts us a little bit more than you'd otherwise expect. DPS keeps going through the roof. I think you gotta take a Thame just to give yourself the precedent. And I do think it's worth going to the shop and possibly buying a bomb to get this right here. Yeah, I do. I, I do. Two bombs for a Tinted Rock. Well, it's actually not two bombs for a Tinted Rock. It's two bombs, a key, and all of our money. But still. Oh, there we go. I honestly now would go to the shop and buy a Spirit Heart. And I think that's sensible, even though there is that five cent uh, card. You know what? Let's shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land amongst the st ah, Even if you miss, you'll land amongst the spiders, is what I meant to say. I'm gonna try it again. I fucked it. I fucked it up. Take your bomb. What am I doing? It's enough money. It's enough money. It was all worth it. We, <laughs> we got the two of clubs out of it regardless. Alright, so basically we just went into the shop, wasted money, and milled our donation machine, but hey, cool. We still got two bombs. Check this out. We got one spirit heart out of it. I'm well worth it in the end, but uh, definitely not the right way to take the flowchart for that shop. But look at this. HP is okay. DPS is off the chain. A Thame is not the world's best item. Maybe I should have gone to the curse room back there. Um, a Thame is not the world's best item. But it did give us precedent, so it's not just a Thame. I don't see that as just picking up a Thame. I see that as, um, you know, ensuring future deals with the devil. And Lord knows, you know, deals with the angel can be fun, but you never know when you can actually rely on them to give you good shit and when you can just rely on them to give you a spirit heart that you don't need when you really need some damage. So, I think it was a calculated risk that ended up being a good decision. And honestly, I'm actually all for this run right now. It, it's definitely on shaky ground, but... Uh, not, don't let me come at you here from a patronizing standpoint. Oh, if you're good enough, it does not matter uh, how your run goes. I don't even know what that accent was meant to be, to be honest with you. Um, it was a combination of, like, an alien race and then the critic from Ratatouille or something like that. But, um... The, the, I, I really do think the more comfortable you get... In Isaac, the more you value damage and the less you value HP. So, you know, valuing damage at the expense of HP tends to be a smart decision. I think there is a key back here somewhere. All right, can't get to it. We do need uh, some speed upgrades if possible. Wouldn't dispute that. Felt like a good second secret room opportunity here. Plenty of pills. We should know what many of them are. Pheromones, are you a wizard? Friends till the end is good. They can take power pill into the boss fight, and this should be pretty simple. Shoot him a little bit. Wait till he gets close, then pop Power Pill. You know what? We might even want to save Power Pill. It's not like we're missing out on not being able to take Pheromones. It's fairly worthless anyway. Just save uh, Power Pill for later. The Halo. This is what we needed. Um, not only does it give us, you know, an all stats upgrade and I wanted more speed, but the actual existence of Red Hearts is extremely important for future deals with the Devil. You know, so we can get those deals while also maintaining some degree of survivability through our Spirit Hearts. So... I'd say this is a pretty huge get. Even if the actual stats up from the Halo is not, strictly speaking, that impressive. This is still pretty valuable. Um, we did get maybe a guppy item. We don't... I mean, here's the thing. I don't want to take Mom's bottle of pills any longer. I got no love for this item. But taking Guppy's paw right now doesn't really make sense either. Although it could be better for the future. I'm, I'm kind of happy knowing there's a Balls of Steel pill in this rotation somewhere. We just got it. We got another friends till the end, which is fine as well. Right now, if you're wondering what we're doing, we're just looking for a key. I wouldn't want to leave this floor without going to our item room if we can avoid that. I would prefer to. World card. World card. So that's uh, secret room access. I think I, I think I don't care about it, actually. I was going to say I think I do care about it, but you know what? I think I don't care about it. I think we'll use it on the next floor. Uh, or maybe we'll save it for quite some time. Use it on the Necropolis or the Depths 2 to hopefully snag a... Uh, an early boss rush chance or something like that. Ooh, okay. First time we've actually had a theme come out for us on a room where we could do something about it. I mean, I guess you pick it up. It's Bob's Curse. It's not bad, but it's not really very good. These are not going to be secret rooms, so... 
means our most likely secret room is probably here then. And inside we get more bombs. This would be a great time to get one up. But I'll settle for one balls of steel pill for four bombs. I'll settle for mini mush. It's up to you. We got one pill and it is balls of steel. You know what? How can I complain? I said I'd settle for it and that's exactly what you gave me. And we're going to be a little bit ahead of schedule for boss rush without a teleport card. And without a truly exceptional run, I'm not feeling incredibly strong about going to boss rush but if we can teleport out for sure another curse um curse of the unknown i think we'll pop the world card and that's my trade-off here cancer item is or cancer trinket sorry i should say that there actually is an extremely meaningful difference there um but uh the the trade-off is i will spend more time on this floor as a result of doing this room but then I will go straight to uh, the rooms that actually matter as a result of that world card. And I, I do want to get the Cancer Trinket back. A little sneaky movie did there that forced me into the uh, Liberty Cap again. But we're going to be doing pretty disgusting damage with a doubled rate of fire. Our rate of fire was already great, and uh, now it's just greater. We're not going to need too much more to keep this one on the level of actually being like boss rush potentially... Um, being viable, like actually doing the room being viable, I should say. Okay, throw down a bomb. We want keys or an item, maybe. Okay, there's keys. And actually, we can't afford to spend one bomb. And we got a nickel out of it, which I was hoping maybe we'd snag an item as well, but no big deal. Now, in terms of our HP, I think we're still doing totally fine. So, uh, the, the caveat there is I really should endeavor to not take damage on this floor, even more so than is just, you know, prudent. Uh, because with Curse of the Unknown, it just adds one more layer of uncertainty to it. But we know that at least we got Halo backing us up in case things go terribly wrong. We got another Balls of Steel pill. And uh, all of a sudden, it doesn't seem right to have complained so much about that bad trip pill earlier. But it easily could have prevented us from ever experiencing up to this point on this run. Because, uh, I mean, it was looking it was looking wild for a time there. Early on, especially when we uh, went into the room with the uh, the bombs, it could have been over right there. Little haunt is fine, but without a key to access our shop, I think we just want to mix it up anyway. And I, I figured we'd reroll Mom's bottle of pills in favor of something else. Honestly, I don't find Epic Fetus that fun, especially you know we've already got good tears and the Cancer Trinket. I really do prefer Spider Bite. I'm not salty about this one at all. I would tell you if I were salty about how a donation machine went or a, a reroll machine went. And honestly, here. I think that we pretty much got, uh, we got like my dream come true. We traded in Epic Fetus for a, a combination that I think is a little, uh, a little bit more fun. A tier effect plus a really high rate of fire. Instead of just, you know, killing everything like instantly. Uh, okay. Lovely. Epic Fetus would have made Boss Rush uh, a pretty easy sell though. But we may actually be able to make this run better than Epic Fetus. But it's going to require a little bit more than what we got right now. But we're honestly due for a deal with the devil. And I would not complain about getting a Liberty... Or not a Liberty Cap, sorry. A Krampus's Head or a, uh, a Lump of Coal. Either one is fine by me. And there is Krampus, as you might have expected. Uh, real bad start there. But it's okay. Worst case scenario, we do have a... Demon Heart, so I was going to say, even if we get hit, we're probably fine. A Thame finishes him off, gives us another Demon Heart. Goodbye. Game Kid, hello, head of Krampus. Boring, but effective. Alright, Debs won a minute ahead of schedule for Boss Rush. And honestly, Krampus' head is a really good item uh, for Boss Rush purposes. I know people, like, I'm the, Boss Rush is not the be-all, end-all, okay? But I like it because it gives me something to shoot for. It's like, if you set a fitness goal... I don't think you want to just set a goal that's like, in eight months, I want to have 4% body fat. You know, okay, there's something like that maybe is valuable long term, but you got to have little signposts along the way as well. So, like, my, of course, my overarching goal, have fun, provide an entertaining run. Number two, getting the win would be awesome. Number three, something to do with Boss Rush, The Hush, or Mega Satan. You know, just add a little wrinkle of extra entertainment in there. So it's not like I'm, it's the, it's the most important thing for me, but it's a short-term goal that I'm looking for myself uh, in the present, in the here and now. And once we get past that signpost, one way or the other, we'll uh, you know, continue on with goal one and goal two. It's like your goal in a course might be to get an 80, but 
you're not just saying I want to get an 80 on the course. You know that that means you're going to have to get a, you know, an 80 or above on the midterm to set yourself up nicely with momentum and, and whatnot. Okay, that was just terrible damage. My fourth goal is to make ridiculous metaphors and analogies that uh, oftentimes actually do not really apply except in the arbitrary circumstances for which I've manufactured them. That's fine as well. Um, haven't really been able to do much of anything at all with our shops on this run, but this could change right here if that is a secret room, which of course it is. Um, luck up is great. How have we still not seen this many pills? Like, this is a little crazy to me. Luck up's good, the other two kinda... Well, telepills didn't really screw us, but it wasn't amazing. And honestly, this might be a great time for a greed fight. What a lovely time for a greed fight. We got the financial deficit. I would like to purchase some items to ensure that it doesn't go to shit. It sort of worked. It sort of worked as part of the song. It sort of worked. Well, not the strongest Krampus' head I've ever used, but you gotta figure if we use Krampus' head, you know, pretty soon after it's available every single time, that's gonna cut off, you know, a couple of seconds every time. You do that ten times, that's thirty seconds, that's enough time to basically take the mom fight out, uh, single-handedly. Especially if Krampus' head is charged up for that, but we don't have to worry about this too, too much right now. Really, it is all this, like, you know, I, I love that we got the Tears upgrades and the Cancer Trinket just, you know, synergizes so nicely with them. But the damage upgrades early were super nice as well. Like the Synth Oil plus the, the Small Rock have really given me a lot of ability to carry myself forward here. Uh, I don't think it's worth using Krampus' head here because these enemies don't fire back. Monstro's Lung. Lovely item. We'll charge up very quickly as a result of our combinations here. It's a little bit less mindless. That was bad. It's a little bit less mindless than the shooting that I was doing before, but maybe that's a good thing in and of itself as well. Um, are you a wizard? I don't think this works with Monstro's Lung anyway, but I don't want to find out, really. Golden chest. Sure. I think that was pretty good. Decent money. No luck upgrades, unfortunately, but we did get a black heart. That's pretty good. Keys! Okay, good. So we're set for the next floor, roughly speaking. Shots are going to do a lot of damage. I don't really care about hitting the dips. The dips breaking the shots is way worse than them just existing. Oh. Okay, clear these guys out. Thank God we have a high rate of fire. No deal with the devil, but a damage and range upgrade. I think these are effective for us as well. Cool, we got a nice little run going on here. Now I would love like a cricket's body. You know, keep that fire rate coming. And at the same time, you know, get a little bit more value out of each shot. Uh, sure, I'd say that's probably worth it. We at least got enough money to buy our consumable back on the shop, if we can go to it. And this is definitely seeming like one of those runs where you, like, go to Boss Rush, and if it's got some really good stuff on it, uh, or you get some really good stuff well on your way to Boss Rush, then you say, okay, let's do it. But for now, I'm not fully convinced that that's going to be something that's going to be in our game plan, but it's it's possible. Our DPS is already pretty amazing, so honestly, anything that like improves our defense might be a little bit more advisable right now, but I have to admit, I'm a, I'm a pretty huge fan of what we got going on here. If only we could fly. I guess that's one of the like kind of tertiary things we'd be looking for right now. Almost every Afterbirth run, I feel, gets the ability to fly at some point. So I wouldn't be surprised, but nothing so far. Luck up, no luck up. We could at least donate to our donation machine to say sorry for the way that we uh, screwed it a little bit in the earlier part of the game. We're actually firing Monstro's Lung Shots faster than uh, I fire Tears on some of my worst runs. So, should give you some indication of the fact that we're pretty strong right now. Luck up, luck up, luck no luck ups. That's the new NLism, I think. Is, is picking up pennies, but asking for them to always be luck upgrades. Hey man, there's worse habits. Like, for example, not picking up pennies at all. Empress. Good to take in the boss rush. Um, let's just, speaking of which, let's just get ourselves to the boss fight for now. And then we'll, we'll tackle things as we see fit from that point on. So Krampus' head is good for us on Boss Rush, but I don't think it's good enough to justify uh, its existence, like Boss Rush's existence completely. Magic Fingers is not good. Mom's Key is pretty good. Um, you know what? We got bombs, so let's blow this up. 
Grab the nickel. Uh, we should check it. Judgment. Okay, well, I'll tell you what's gonna happen. I'm probably gonna blow you up. I think I'd rather keep the Empress... Or, you know what? I'd rather blow up the Judgment right now. Uh, to get a better deal with the Devil Chance. Yeah, I think this is smart. Well, smart-ish. Perfect. And we'll take the Empress card in. And, sure, why not? Um, why not take a stab at Boss Rush right now? See if we want it. I recognize there's an Arcade. I'm gonna take, like, the ultimate Hail Mary and look for a teleportation card at the very end. Unfortunately, there's a Tinted Rock over there that I almost neglected to access. Fate, please? Fate's reward? I mean, you, you almost, you overshot the goal there. Take the Polaroid. Take Guppy's Collar. Okay, that is our second Guppy item. Um, we don't know what any of these items in here are. I'm still going to take one, and we're gonna take top right. Iron Bar! You know what? Out of all the items in here, I think Iron Bar has got to be okay. Maybe there was like a game-winning item in here, but Iron Bar by itself is, is good enough to not be salty about for sure. Uh, I also love that we opened the fight with some red poop on the ground, which just means that for me, uh, the boss on the left is oftentimes just going to kill itself. Or it's not going to kill itself, but it's going to get killed pretty quickly. That was bad. Like the gate is already like... 30% dead. Saves me from making like two shots. Keep forgetting that we cannot fly, which is actually extremely annoying because it takes away that prime real estate in the center that I like to use. Um, that was also really dumb. It takes away that prime real estate in the center that I like to use to get uh, Krampus's head to hit every enemy. What's going on here? Got a little horn somewhere or something? What? Where, where's... I don't... Oh, there he is. It's War. I guess Little Horn doesn't spawn, like, 30 bombs. 30 bombs. This is an annoying wave. I think oftentimes when we do Boss Rush, we either teleport out, or we're so powerful we don't even get a chance to experience the true annoyingness of a lot of the waves. This wave could be pretty annoying. Got two little turtlings left up here, but they're gonna die in, like, one Monstro's Lung Shot each. Hmm. This is a tough choice. Which one of these enemies do you find more annoying? The bloat or the angel? I'd actually say the angel, because you can't just, you know, post up behind it and then hope for the best. But neither one is that strong compared to us right now. Alrighty. Um, I think you take out the haunt first. Hoping that the laser would actually hit the heart at some point, which it didn't, but that's okay. Monstro's Lung did most of the dirty work for me. Okay, when it spawns on top of the red poop, it actually crushes it. So, most enemies are actually not being hurt by it at all, unfortunately. Whoop! Almost got me there. Fate's Reward is actually pretty strong uh, with our combination here. I didn't realize. Alright. Decent. And we got like two fistula parts left here. Honestly, considering Monstro's Lung and our Rate of Fire, I actually feel like this was totally worth doing for Iron Bar. Not to mention our HP is still totally fine, but... Uh, I think just in terms of like the rewards that we've gotten for it, it's been advisable, honestly. This guy's like, come on, he's gotta be gone. This is like one of the few times we actually want the spin. Lucky us. Smooth cornering there. Um, we might be done. We're not done. Well, we're going to get another question mark. So I wouldn't get your hopes up too much that we're going to come out of this with an amazing item. But as long as we don't come out of it with, like, soy milk, I'll be relatively happy. God's flesh. That's fine. As long as it's something that doesn't ruin our run, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this. And honestly, I know we did it last run, or I think we did it last run, but maybe we'll do the Hush Fight on this one, too. We do have really solid DPS, so... I, I sort of don't see a great reason not to do it. But uh, we'll see where our HP stands after this floor. Come on. Come on. Uh, we're also only one guppy item away from the guppy transformation. And considering... I hate this room. Considering our uh, damage, being able to create flies is just gonna... Is, we're gonna be next level. Not quite most powerful run ever territory, but 
Like, we're going to be up there for sure. Curse of the Unknown. Oh, I really thought we could make it. Curse of the Unknown. No Curse of the Labyrinth. So we got two floors left. We did just have a deal with the Devil, so we're pretty unlikely to have one here, relatively speaking. But stranger things have happened. And, you know, low percentage doesn't necessarily bother me. As long as we play our game, I think we've... Honestly, the hardest part should be over on this run. Starting with one uh, Spirit Heart is really... You know, if we were going to lose on this run, it's going to be back there. If we end up losing on this run after surmounting that starting situation, it's going to be the saddest story ever told. Went down to 1 HP, got into a 1... It's like a rags to riches to rags story. You end the movie after they get the riches and enjoy them for a while. You don't end with them going back to rags, it's depressing. Except for, you know, the thousands of films that actually function on exactly that principle. But I digress. The Eternal Heart is fine. We have Red Hearts anyway, so I feel like it's a sensible choice um, to, to roll with it. God's Flesh, I sort of... I, I don't love it because it's too tempting to shoot enemies that... Or to, to run into enemies that probably you should not run into, but... For now, no worries. Piercing shots. That's something I'd love. I'd still love Cricket's body. I'd settle for the parasite, but... Well, I'm the parasite, and I seem to be stuck to you. I wanna hit your box and then split into two. <laughs> you guys... That song was big outside of Canada, right? Finger 11, paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed. I seem to be st struck by you. I want to make you move because you're standing still. Man, if your body matches what your eyes can do. I always, I have to ask though, because uh, there's a lot of songs I didn't realize are like Canadian only. Or at least Canadian focused. I've said this on streams before, but you know, in Canada we actually have something called uh, CanCon. And that ensures that uh, Canadian radio stations play like at least 25% Canadian content. Let's just start with Abbott. Let's just be safe. Um, so, you know, that that makes a lot of Canadian celebrities that never make it to the U.S. because they just kind of fill our quota. Not to be insulting, but, you know, like I had no idea that Colin James wasn't well-known in America. In Canada, he's probably like a, you know, he's a, he's a known rock star. I just came back to say goodbye. I just came back. Goodbye, baby. My neighbors are going to hate me. Anyway. You always gotta ask. I can hear people talking outside, so they're, uh... You gotta wonder what's going on with the dude in apartment 007. Obviously, I don't live in apartment 007. That'd be fucking badass. They'd probably just call it apartment 7. But, like, there's, there's all, like, one family on our floor. Let's keep it on a DL here. They leave their door open. There's, like, a, a you know, 50 people live on this floor. They leave their door open at all times. I don't understand it. Like, freshman year dorm? Absolutely. No problem. You want to make friends. This is not the kind of town where you make friends. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. It's very strange to me to not desire your privacy on a human level. Anyway, no deal with the devil here. I just came back to say good... Okay. Danko Jones, though. As we've said many times, Danko Jones, famous in Canada. Um, and also famous... In Sweden, strangely enough. He's our Hasselhoff. Although I don't know if Danko, jo Danko joins... Danko Jones is, is Canadian in the first place. He might actually be Swedish or American or, you know, alien. I have no idea. I'm going to take two hits here. And my hope, of course, is that this facilitates Guppy. I think we can afford it, especially if we get, you know, all that back. You know what? Yeah. We're going to take... Uh, we're going to take Pandora's box up to the cathedral. Even though we miss out on Krampus's head as a result, we're going to take this... I think this is more fun. I'm fulfilling my other goal of uh, providing entertainment here. You never know. We could get Godhead. Although, you know, <sighs> we had Godhead last round. What a boring item. Probably one of the most convincing fake yawns I've ever committed to camera. So far, so good. Uh, you know what? We should pick up the key. If we're going to do Hush, which I'm skeptical of now, but if we're going to do Hush, we're going to want the key. It costs seven down there, so we might as well get some more um, to have. Wow. We have Mom's key? Is that why that chest was so ridiculous for us? I guess we do. 
Now, this is the one room that makes me sad that I got rid of Krampus' head. Because this would be really nice to have right now. But unnecessary. Okay, well, we're going to have to make a decision. I guess we'll see. If we become Guppy, I think it's like 100%. We go to the, uh, we go to the Hush fight. If we don't become Guppy, we'll play it by ear. And I'm a little bit, you know, putting it on the low priority. Put it on the back burner, if you will. Because we did just do it in the last run. A little brim. I don't know if that tips it enough in our favor. But you know what? Let's do it. We got a, we got a good amount of HP. We got a nice run here. And we'll save Pandora's box for the cathedral regardless. We should be able to buy something from our shop. Like buy a spirit heart or something. Yeah. I suppose if we wanted, we could spend 15 cents on um, little chest just for the hush fight. Alright, I've decided I didn't want to go into the item rooms anyway. Lots of donations to be made as well. Blind Rage, the luck up. Honestly, the luck up might be the best thing we get on this floor. But let's, let's confirm or deny that. Um, Tinted Rock, two spirit hearts would be awesome. Spirit Heart and a key is also fine. You know what? I experimented. It didn't work out. But what were we going to do with the sack of pennies anyway? Okay. Infestation 2. If only Sack Dagger could have been in the other room. Because that item is amazing as well. But Infestation 2 is obviously fantastic. Um, we're going to donate as much money as they'll let us donate here. And we're getting into like unprecedented territory for our donation machine. Uh, it's been a long time... Since we've had it up this high, and it might be able to get up to 700, a.k.a. the Tao Bachman level. Was that song popular in the U.S. or other parts of the world? She's so high, high, high above me. She's so lovely. I got a, a rude awakening the other day. I went to the grocery store, and, you know, I listened to the classic rock radio station here in Vancouver, LG 104.3. Best of the 70s, uh, 80s, and 90s. And while... It's not false that this song fits into that age range or that, that time period. You know, first they were playing like, Rocky Mountain Way, and then they played like, you know, Why Do You Build Me Up Buttercup Baby? And then after that, they played Matchbox 20's Push. You know, I wanna push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. I was like offended. I was getting my dad rock on, and then all of a sudden, you're like taking me straight back to ninth grade bear share matchbox 20 3 a.m live at the madison square garden right it's not like i'm afraid to be old like oh songs that were contemporary when i was young are now on classic rock radio it's more like yo i dispute matchbox 20 being classic anything i'm not trying to insult them i'm just saying matchbox 20 that's easy listening put it on the easy listening station and that's fine by me. I'm not offended. Would I turn on the Easy Listening Station? You know what? If I was listening to Easy Listening and... Can you help me? I'm bent. I'm so scared that I never get put back together. Like, if that came on, I'd be fine with it. It's no Aaron Neville, but, you know, you gotta diversify your Easy Listening from time to time. But on the classic rock radio station, I want, you know, Steppenwolf, Magic Carpet Ride. I don't want Matchbox's 3 a.m. and I must be lonely 20. Well, the Hush Fight is going just fine here. We can actually fire a lot faster than I was previously firing. Infestation 2 is helpful as well. But again, on the Hush Fight, we're not really going to notice. We're really going to notice it once we get down to the next floor. Uh, and once we start shitting on enemies in the in the cathedral, it's gonna be beautiful. We should at least have like six HP by the time we finish the hush fight, and that's worst case scenario. Just hold yourself back here. Okay, I don't like that very much, but that's all right. We got eight left right now. We got the speed to get away from that. Okay, we got seven left right now. Maybe, okay, we're gonna have at least four HP left when we leave here. I'm revising my prediction to be slightly more conservative. And I'm okay with that. Four HP is still enough. We actually may have six. <laughs> okay, we've done it. 
Uh, we're definitely going to take Krampus's head with us, though. And by Krampus's head, of course, I mean Pandora's box, which was back here in the room with the D7. And we'll get in there any darn second. What? Oh, right, okay. Scared the shit out of me there for a minute. No problems. No problems. We're still fine here. Especially with Guppy's Collar possibly coming through in the clutch. Although, to be honest with you, we're pretty extremely unlikely to need it, in my opinion. I just realized I had a mouse pointer, like, on the screen. I don't know how long it was there for. Hopefully not the entirety of the run. That's okay, though. Hey! Oh, lovely. Breath of Life. Classic item. One of the all-time greats. Red chest, Guppy. Complete the dream. Eh, you've helped the dream along. Completing the dream might be an exception. But, or might be a stretch, I should say. But either way, keys? Don't need keys. I mean, I don't really want to do this room, but I'll tell you why I'm gonna do this room. One is Blackheart Potential. Another one, Infestation 2 Potential. Now, a lot of our spiders are gonna be collateral damage here. But we're gonna leave, I think, with a decent spider economy going for us. And if we get Shoop the Whoop, just like that's even better. But any spiders that we gain be out of that dress when they meet Jim West. That's fine. It's worth it, actually. Oh, we did get Shoop the Whoop as well. Now, if only we'd gotten the Guppy Dream completed there, that would have been ridiculous. But this is fine. Okay, so we got uh, Shoop the Whoop rolling with us now. Infestation 2. If we had AAA battery, we could probably justify uh, getting rid of the Cancer Trinket. But, you know, we're still in a great position to have the Cancer Trinket as well. What do I care about? Keys at this point. We got 11. Should be more than enough. Is this the height of human laziness? Possibly. But I think, you know, there's value in the morale boost here. And I think, you know, shit talk in the game help, it keeps you alive. It keeps you young. Just like using Shoop the Whoop to kill a single enemy that would die in a single hit regardless. No problems. No problems. Now, it's no, uh, it's no 25 minute, you know, boss rush, uh, boss rush hush run like we did last time. We'll just call it boss hush from now on. It's the OTP, as the kids are saying. One true pizza pocket. Um, but, uh, it's still gonna be a pretty good run here. As long as we get the win. And all things considered, I really... If you go back and listen to my, my tone of voice on that... Um, on that room with the bombs where we had one HP, I was actually like, that's it. We're done. You know what? The streak's not getting off the ground. But now that we've gotten... We pulled out the win here, and honestly, it was pretty easy once we got through that room, then uh, I, got, I got nothing but high hopes. High apple pie in the sky hopes. Let's do it. Not as much damage as I would have expected. I don't know how he didn't get hit by that Angel Fetus, though. But Shoop the Whoop's still doing great work for us. And honestly, I don't think we'll even need another uh, phase to deal with Isaac. Ooh, we will. But I don't think we'll need two. Barely fast enough to get away there. Yo, Lil Brim, get in on this. Now we're going to lose permanent Polaroid invincibility, but it shouldn't matter too much. And no Guppy Dream, unfortunately. Curse of the Unknown is actually a little frightening. Relics, greats... Oh, no, there's there's some good stuff here. Let's get rid of Shoop to Whoop, even though it's lovely, and take Pinking Shears. I think the Shears are just that good. Uh, but Dead Onion is nice for us to give us the piercing shots that I asked for earlier. And uh, the Relic, once every four rooms, gives us a Spirit Heart. Pretty valuable here for keeping us uh, in the game in these late moments. Now... Uh, let's not allow ourselves to get hit as much as we got hit right there. A Thame or no a Thame? That's still a stupid decision. Okay, that's incredibly bad. At least we got our black heart back for that one, but that that's on me. Extremely poor, uh, poor form on my... Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous now. Let's uh, stop with this. Come on, Relic. Give me a Spirit Heart. I know I can't be trusted with it, but give me this... Thank you. All right. No more damage. No more damage on the whole floor. I'm calling it right now. I've decided. I've had enough. As much as I would love to take on the find, it doesn't do anything for us anymore. It sucks now. At least it sucks this late in the game. Okay. We do have a few luck upgrades, so I'm thinking tough love. looks. Some of our shots, all of our shots are 100% teeth. Hold up. 
Hold up. All of our shots are 100% teeth. All of our shots are 100% teeth. We made it happen. This is what Nick's surgery looked like. So this should be ridiculously powerful right now. Nick, if you're listening, that comment was made in love. I hope it's made in jest at the very least. This is ridiculously overpowered now then. Uh, we don't really need that bomb. So this run, I we've accomplished all our goals. Little extra fun in the hush fight. We did boss rush. We did it with Curse of the Unknown. Got that level of zaniness that I desire. And then we also are going to get the win. And we've created a very strange and, and powerful run here. I'm quite a big fan. Anemic isn't as good as Bloody Lust would be probably, but... It's something at least. Spirit Hearts. Rune Bag. Give me a Forget Me now. I'm ready to do this whole floor over again. But we got to be coming close to the end here. I'm going to be sad to see this run go, because honestly, that, that Tooth Revelation at the end is awesome. In, uh, in original Isaac, you needed nine luck upgrades, I think. What's Tough Love? No, Tough Love is new, right? I can't remember. I thought you needed nine luck upgrades to get guaranteed teeth, but, uh... I may be mistaken. Maybe it was in the original? It's been a, I mean, I've been playing this game for a long time, okay? Well, that's gonna do it for this run. Highs and lows. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.